Hi there, so today I'm going to just um, say a few words about releases. So there's a few different types of release here for when you're towing or when you're winching or when you're aero towing. Um, so the first type is this mechanical one. So these are sometimes called cock releases after the um, German manufacturer of them, although this one isn't. So these are a two-stage release. They've actually got a couple of releases, so you can release the first stage and release the second stage. The reason these are made like this is for winching primarily, where you would normally winch with two lines, so one which goes above the base bar and one which goes below the base bar. So you'd winch to a certain height, drop the first line, and then the second stage would take you up. Now some people do use these for aero towing as well. Um, they can be used for that, but there's quite a lot of people that think they're a little bit bulky, a little bit heavy, they don't want the extra sort of thing on their chest there. There's also the risk that when you're aero towing, you're probably a bit closer to the base bar and there is just the risk that they could accidentally open like that. Also, these aren't being manufactured anymore, so they're quite difficult to get hold of. So what most of the people use, probably about at least 90% of the people I've seen aero towing, is a barrel release. So something like this, which is simple, lightweight, you load it by putting your line across there, closing the hook, pulling the barrel up, and then when that's under tension, there's very little chance of it accidentally releasing, but you can always release it by just pulling the barrel back and it will always fly open. So this is probably the most common type of release. Um, we've been selling these for years now. Um, but there is one potential issue with them, which is what happens if you don't have that tension on the line so if you imagine this is hanging from your body now, if I want to release this now, it's quite difficult to do that single-handed. I'd need to hold the, the line and then release it with my other hand, which isn't necessarily a good, a good thing to be doing if you're in a tricky situation. So one example of where this might happen, the sort of nightmare scenario, if you like, would be if the tug has an engine failure just after takeoff, so you're still very low, very close to the ground, you'd suddenly um, be in a position where you're starting to overtake the tug at that point. You need to get off the line very quickly, you need to concentrate on not landing on top of the tug, um, getting out, getting, steering around there, and also landing yourself, of course. There's quite a lot going on there, and having to fiddle around with trying to, trying to release this it's another thing that you uh, don't want to be doing. Uh, we tried a couple of designs over the years that trying to improve on this, um, trying to put, uh, for instance, stitching some fiberglass rod into here to make them more rigid so you can sort of push against your body with it. But we never came up with something which was particularly satisfactory like that. So we've just been, we've been sending these standard ones, as I say, for many years and probably 90% of the people you see towing are using them. However, I recently came across a different way of doing this. So this was um, Steve Blackler, um, although apparently it wasn't his idea either. He got it from a guy in the States who I think is called Mark Dowsett. So well done to him for coming up with this alternative design. So this will still, it still operates in basically the same way as a barrel release, uh, the standard barrel release. So you close it like that um, and it will still when you're under line tension, you can still release it in a conventional way by just pulling on it. However, the difference is what happens when it's under zero line tension. If you just imagine that rope's just hanging down loosely, then if you just pull it away from your body, it releases. Now, it's not quite such a clean release, but at least it is a release. So you've got two options. You either release in the normal way, and you would probably always do that, almost always do that, but it's just this situation where if you ever did need to get off the line in a real hurry, you could just release it like that. Okay, so the other component of the aero system is a line. Um, so fairly simple piece of Dyneema cord that um, provides your, um, that goes through an eye, a metal ring, and pulls you along. So 
There's a few things to note about this though. So the first point is that it's very important that there's no knots, this is completely smooth and that it very easily slips through that metal ring and there's very little chance of getting hung up on that. Um, the other, so that's why it's this self-splicing line which can make these very clean splices without needing to tie any knots in it. The other thing that's important is that this doesn't have too much stretch in it because if you imagine when you're on toe, it's going to be a lot of tension. If it's stretching like elastic band, then when you release it, there's potentially going to be a lot of tension twanging this around and you don't really want, this is quite likely to be quite close to your face when you're releasing it, so you really don't want to be getting flipped in the face by the end of a line. So for that reason, this is made out of Dyneema cord, which is a very low stretch type of cord. Um, however, even like this, there can still be an issue. I've heard of it happen once, to be honest, but if the, for some reason, as this is pulling through that metal ring, if it just sort of ties it somehow, as I say, this is incredibly unlikely to happen, but apparently it has managed to happen some, somehow, is that this end's managed to get itself somehow hooked around something on that end, and then, although the pilot has pulled the release, he's still attached to a tug on this, um, which is why it's good practice to have two releases, so one on each side of you, so that if that were to happen, or for any other reason, if the re that your first release just didn't release, you'd always be able to use the second one. So it's best to fly with two releases for that reason. Okay, so if you imagine that um, your aero towing, you've just lifted up out the dolly, you're concentrating on following that tug, the tug's just about to take off and leave the, leave the runway, but at that point the tug has a sudden engine failure. And you're completely free of the rope. I did both releases there just to show that they can both be released at zero tension. Still got the line sort of hanging around there, but obviously that's not attached to me anymore. So then I can just concentrate and get knocking up twice, avoid him in the tug, and that's it. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that was good. Right, that was an outtake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh.